Hey everyone, it's Nate Ubaski here. We're going to be looking at some quick Google Sheets tips that allows you to take a plethora of data from students you've collected over the year and allows you to create a easy to view distraction free report using three different Google Sheets functions. The first one is the transpose function. Then we're going to look at the filter function and we'll also look at data validation. To start things off, I created a new sheet called student reports and I got rid of all the extra rows and columns. In cell C1, we're gonna create a dropdown menu using data validation. When we select a criteria for our data validation, it's going to let us select from a range. We're going to choose the names where we have our students. This will create a drop-down menu for us to be able to have just one student at a time on this report. Now that we have that drop-down menu, we need to bring in the headers so that we know what assessment data we're looking at. We look at rows 1 and 2 with cell A1 through cell AJ2 where we have all of our data. So what we need to do now is we need to transpose that data. We need to take it from the horizontal view to the vertical view. So we're going to put in this function up here. We're transposing anything from sheet you ask you, and then cells A1 through AJ2. And it creates a vertical um, format of all of those headers and assessments. Now that we have these headers and assessments and we want to bring, be able to bring in the student data. But in order for us to do that, we need to do a transpose and a filter function. When I paste this function in, you see transpose and then a filter. What we're doing is we're filtering all of the data, as you can see here in this orange. And then in the purple, we're creating a condition that selects only a name and we want to filter out the name that equals the name in C1. So now that we have this drop-down menu, I can select a student's name. When I select a student's name, it inputs all of the data for each of the assessments that I've done over the course of the year. When I change a student's name, all of the data changes. Now you can add some uh, conditional formatting so you've got some colors in there to in quick glances for all of your information. This is a great way to have conversations with students and one-on-one -on -one private um, conversations with parents without the distraction of all of the scores and all of the data in front of you. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.